Morning year one, it's Thursday and we've got a really lovely day for you today. So first of all in maths, we're going to be using our knowledge of fractions that we have learned this week. So quarters, halves and wholes to first of all on this side, we would like you to write the fraction for um, what fraction of the shape has been coloured in. And then on the other side, we would like you to read the fraction and can you colour in the correct fraction on the shape? And then there are three challenge ones at the bottom where you need to read the fraction and first of all, split the shape um, either in half or quarters and then colour in the correct amount. So I hope you get on well with that. You've been really good at fractions so far because it's really tricky year one work. And then for English, we'd like you to put together everything that we have learned about writing instructions to write a set of instructions for washing your hands. So we know how important washing our hands is at the moment. So we would like you to, and it might be a good idea to first of all go and wash your hands and see what you did first, what you did last, maybe see what equipment you used. And then you can use this template or you could use your own to think about writing a title, what you need, maybe a picture, and then a clear set of instructions, remembering our time adverbials and bossy words. So we can't wait to read those later. And then this afternoon for phonics, yesterday you were revisiting the sounds ow and a and i, e and oi. And we have put some words on the school website for you to sort um, by which sound they have in them. So you can have a go at reading those words and then sorting them. And then this afternoon is a little bit different because this week is Children's Mental Health Week. And the theme is Inside Out, which is all about making sure that how we feel on the inside, we show on the outside and that we talk about our feelings. So your first challenge is, can you write down as many different types of feelings as you can? How many can you think of? And then the next activity is a little video where you can draw your feelings. So if you watch the video first and then you can have a go at the activity. And can you talk to a grown up about your picture and describe why you've drawn certain things? And then that shouldn't take you too long. So after that, we would like you to do something that is going to make you feel happy. And it's really important that we take the time to do things that we enjoy. So you could either read a book, you could sit, do some singing, some dancing, you could play your favorite game and just do something that will make you feel happy. So if you could let us know on the comments section on the home learning page of the website, what you decide to do, we can't wait to see. So we hope you have a happy day and Mr Chamberlain will be back tomorrow. Bye.